The clubs in today's video are a result of four years worth of development. So the question is, what does that actually mean in terms of golf club technology? Should we be expecting huge leaps in terms of performance? You see Mizuno claims to have found the final piece of the jigsaw in the new ST230 lineup. The question is, what is that final piece of the jigsaw? And more importantly, can we recognize it out here for some on-course testing at La Hacienda Lynx in the San Roque region of Southern Spain? Now, before we go on to see if Mizuno have got the answer to all of our golfing problems, let's have a quick look at this full ST230 lineup. Now, what Mizuno have done a good job of, in my opinion, is sort of uh, a visual identity has been maintained throughout that sort of four year period. So the new drivers, fairy woods and hybrids that you're gonna see in S2230 are not much different from their predecessors visually. And why would you change it? Because at the end of the day, they've got a winning formula. These look really quality build, first of all, they look great in terms of shelf appeal, fairly muted, they're not exactly flashy in any way. I love the dark colour scheme and there's those accents of that classic Mizuno blue. But then you turn over to the crown and you'll notice with the driver and the fairway woods, I think they've got possibly one of the best looking crowns at a dress. It's high gloss and it's got a thick black line at the front of the club face and then it fades out into that sort of checkered flag thing that we've seen from so many but that sort of balance between that thick solid black line at the front and that checkered element like i said visually really attractive at a dress they actually drop it from the hybrids where it's just a full gloss crown but i've got to say that the lineup looks really impressive and easy on the eye down at a dress really frames the ball well you've got that Mizuno chevron again that makes an appearance which I really like to center the ball interestingly enough in the fairway woods what you'll see is score lines either side of the club face avoid in the center which is something I like I've commented on other brands have done similar and then when I look at the hybrid for some reason it's score lines right across the face which for me like I said I like that little bit of a void in the middle which frames the ball in terms of putting it into the center of the club face for you but again just going back to both the fairway wood three wood I'm looking down at now and the hybrid they seem to visually present quite a lot of club face and loft which I always think is very much a positive at least in terms of the mindset so from a looks perspective an excellent job from Mizuno in my opinion now one other point to mention in terms of visuals and probably nobody cares about it but I love their head covers classic Mizuno colorings and uh, yeah their bag and head cover combo look superb but that's nothing to do with the performance and I will reveal very soon what that sort of magic element the final piece of the jigsaw is but first of all I'm going to tee off on what is the signature hole here at La Hacienda Golf Club the backdrop is incredible it's the fifth it's a very inviting tee shot and a very scary one at the same time. Let's see how we get on with the S2 T30 three wood. That needs that kick off the right hand side if it's got the legs. Oh yeah, it has as well. Kick down, kick down. Well, as everything around here, what I'm finding is that'll leave a tricky little chip shot to get up and down, but what a great golf hole this is. Sun's not in the right direction to film, unfortunately, on here, but hopefully you've got a good grasp of how it looks, and I'll be doing a man versus golf hole challenge on this very same hole later on today. But anyway, that practice run is out the way. What about the tee shot? It was a bit of a right to left shot, really. It's always nice playing from an elevated tee position because you sort of go easy on it, you feel like you don't need to do a great deal and again it just shows how much better you get your rhythm and tempo by just slowing down a little bit and the ball has absolutely flown off it. First thing to report is, sounded superb, felt superb and a real great strike as well. So I've hit two or three shots here this morning with the hybrid and the fairway wood and uh, so far so good. What is that secret that they've added? Oh, how good was that? 
So today I'm going to focus on two of what I probably consider to be the unsung heroes of, well, most average golfers bags needs to concentrate on these elements. So driver will come in a separate video. I'm looking at the fairway woods and the hybrids. Now I've got a three hybrid and a three fairway wood. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not a fan of three woods either. So I'm going to add some loft into this thing. So we've got a standard 15, which is pretty much everybody's three wood loft and we're going to crank it up by two degrees. Yeah, I thought we could. So we can add two degrees there. Um, and for me, that 17 degrees is much more realistic. So it's sort of between a four and a five wood. Let's see how we get on in that setting. Tim, but straight away, you'll see that ball flight is really interesting in terms of it's launching quite high. All shots you've seen me hit so far with this three wood are in that uh, increased loft setting. It does it incredibly well, but this element here is the secret bit. The bit that Mizuno say is the missing link to all this. So let me explain exactly what that is, and then I'll tell you whether or not I think I can notice that difference. Right, time for a little sit down. Hitting golf balls can be hard work at times. Right, they have introduced what they're calling the core tech chamber which sounds like something from a Harry Potter movie to me, but I'll read off, the reason I've got my phone is I'll read off exactly what it is supposed to do. You're looking at it right now, it is in fact this sort of sits in behind that blue insert somewhere. It encases a stainless steel weight with a elastometric TPU, which takes stress from the club face and creating an additional source of energy. At the same time, it locates weight closer to the club face to reduce spin rates while contributing to a more solid, powerful sensation at impact. Now you know why I had to read that out because there's no way I could relay that to you. The fact is, can we recognize those differences when I hit a few more golf balls? I'm gonna move over to the tee just behind us. We're gonna hit some three woods, we're gonna hit some hybrids off the very same tee. And then I'm gonna give you my evaluation as to what I found out about the Cortec chamber and the ST230 lineup in terms of fairway woods and hybrids. Right, a couple of shots, like I said, to finish off on hole 11, which is one of my favorites here at La Hacienda. Uh, we start off with a three wood, a little bit tight to that right hand side. I learned yesterday that you can certainly uh, go across the corner, but with the wind coming off the left, perhaps a little bit too tight, but again, good ball flight, really happy with the contact and uh, the ball flight was straight. Second one you see is set up a little bit more down that left hand side. And to be honest with you, I've given it my Sunday best. They don't get any better from me in terms of quality of strike. Ball was like a bullet. Feel and sound absolutely top notch. And again, for me, much prefer that 17 degrees loft and that kind of ball flight, much more versatile for me in terms of a three wood in the bag. Then switch into the hybrid and I've not hit many shots on camera with it, but this first ball, don't forget, three hybrid. Again, I've added more loft. I, uh, I've got to think about, uh, yeah, I don't like low lofted fairways nor hybrids right now. And again, no need to have it low lofted because that ball flight is superb. Absolutely nailed it again, I've got to say. The second ball I put down is the real interesting one for me because the swing wasn't as good and the contact was definitely off the bottom grooves. Now what you see is it affects the ball flight. I'm not trying to play that, I wish I could, but it's a more penetrating low ball flight. It definitely come off the bottom. Skip forward now to the fairway and just have a look in terms of where these two landed. They're literally a couple of yards apart. Bank centre of the fairway, which is the important bit, but no difference in terms of distance carried. So it's always really good to see a club perform particularly well when you haven't hit it very well. And especially hybrids and fairways, you know, a lot of manufacturers have concentrated on that bottom half of the club, the bottom grooves, if you like, because if there's an error that we make as average golfers, it's quite often that we will strike it low on the face. So that was really good. So look, can I find the Chamber of Secrets or whatever it is? Can I? Absolutely not, I've got no idea. All I do know is that the performance of both the fairway wood and the hybrid have got me really excited to try the driver because I've not done that as yet. Superb, the sound and feel is really, really good, which I have a big issue with a lot of the time. Aesthetically, a dress, like I said, love the crown. 
just all round really good and they seem to be i've not got dry ball data but in terms of performance the ball was flying out there the face felt fast and that's often often to do with the way it sounds all round just a real positive and maybe slightly surprised um result really i've always liked mizuno woods but these for me are definitely a leap forward and maybe it's all down to that secret chamber that they've added i've no idea and i never really care all i do know is they perform very well they're pitched in at an rrp and that's important people get confused with this lately an rrp they won't sell for this 299 the fairway wood 279 the hybrid what that means is when they're discounted down and in store they're going to be at the lower end of the spectrum in terms of compared to Callaway, Ping, um, who else have we got out there? It's uh, tailor-made. So they've also got a price advantage and you ain't getting any loss in terms of quality and performance. So these are real contenders and uh, I've got to say Mizuno, superb job, really impressed with these. Right. I'm carrying on. You've seen lots of videos with this backdrop and uh, that's what I will continue to do over the next couple of days. So as ever, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you all around again tomorrow night at 6.30.